And joining us now is Corey Berry. She's the CEO of tech and electronics giant Best Buy, which has nearly a thousand stores across the country. It's good to have you here with us. You're on the front lines in a way of all of these issues that Kristen just laid out. You've got inflation up. You've got employee shortages. Mm -hmm. They're talking about the economy in general. And this, this, this shipping backlog, how are you handling it? What is your view of this crisis? Yeah, I think one of the important things at Best Buy is we've been navigating this for almost 20 months. Consumer electronics was one of the first categories to really pop. And that meant demand skyrocketed globally. It meant some of the factories were shutting down due to COVID issues. Mm -hmm. And so our teams have really been working hard with our vendor partners through this whole time to bring in product. What that means is we've been planning way ahead of time mm -hmm. for the holiday. And we we're actually in a relatively good inventory position. There's always a few spotty things in consumer electronics, like gaming consoles or a certain mm -hmm. phone. That always happens. But broadly, I mean, we're going into the holiday with 20% more inventory than we had two years ago, 50% more than last year. Wow. And so I think it really what it plays to is those with scale, in our case, those with specialty, mm -hmm. and those who have really diversified their supply chains are going to be in a markedly better position, even through the crisis. The other, Big companies. Yeah. yeah. The other thing we keep seeing is uh, prices are going to go up. So when people go to buy something, be prepared to pay more. Is that what you're, what you're expecting? I think, again, in our case, we've been navigating this for a long yeah. time. And there are certain categories that people have about, talked about, like appliances, where we've seen some of the price increases. But we're heading into the most competitive part of the year. Yeah. Everybody wants to yeah. have that perfect perfect gift for their customers. And I, I, what we're seeing is we're going to continue to be priced incredibly competitively, and we don't mm -hmm. see prices going up markedly unexpectedly from here. And in fact, if anything, there's going to be great deals out there. What's your view of the employee shortage? Everyone talks yeah. about the great resignation, mm -hmm. millions of Americans leaving the workforce and leaving retail jobs mm -hmm. such as a Best Buy or yeah. JCPenney or wherever because they can get a better job elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, we are in a really good situation with our employees. Mm -hmm. And I think for us, one of the magical things that's happened over the last 20 months is we have unleashed the ingenuity of our employees. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, they're doing different jobs. They're working call centers or chat if they're maybe nervous about being in have a store. Have wages gone up? We've mm -hmm. We invested in wages over a year ago. We raised our minimum wage uh, to $15. Mm -hmm. We were one of the first to do that. But it's not about wages. I think it's actually about feeling like a valued employee. Our turnover is actually down versus two years ago pre-pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, what's 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 the wellness and the care for your employees? Right. One of the things a lot of people wonder are, are employees required to get vaccinations? And I know at yours there are incentives. There's not a requirement. But what's the percentage of employees at Best Buy who are vaccinated? Yeah, the majority of our employees are vaccinated. Mm -hmm. but what's been interesting for us, we've tried very hard. We believe vaccination is incredibly crucial mm -hmm. and important. So we've done everything from $100,000 in sweepstakes. Mm -hmm. We give paid time off to take the vaccination. If you're feeling ill, we are giving $250 bonuses to anyone who gets vaccinated. And right now we're actually putting vaccination clinics in some of our stores, mm -hmm. especially in areas of the country that aren't as vaccinated. What do you think about this proposed rule, an OSHA rule? Would it mandate that employers with over 100 employees, yeah. clearly Best Buy would fit into that category, require a vaccine. Are you supportive of that? Yeah, to the extent there is OSHA guidance, and we're very clear about how that's going to work, we, we are absolutely supportive of following the guidance. We've done that since day one, to be very clear. We've been very much in line with CDC guidance and mm -hmm. OSHA guidance. Well, we appreciate you coming to see us. Uh, thank you so much. And it's nice to see you in person, too, in yeah. our studio. It's thank you so pleasure. much. You're happy to be on Zoom? Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> You're free. You. Thank wonderful. you so much. Thank Corey you. Berry, CEO of Best Buy. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.